Hello, I'm Heather Crump, Community Impact Manager for Education at United Way of the Plains. And I'm Susie Finn, Marketing and Strategic Partnership Supervisor at Wichita Public Schools. Thank you so much for helping with Read to Succeed. You are a critical part of this program and help ensure its success. In this portion of the training, you are going to learn what's in the reading packets provided by United Way, important dates for the program, and program expectations throughout the year. Here are the top five things you will need to know to help make Read to Succeed in your school successful. The packet will come with a get to know you page to help the student get to know their volunteer better, a guide on how to pick a book, a reading reference sheet, guided reading strip, and a reading log. Please add the completed student snapshot and a schedule for your volunteer into the packet. Tours will be scheduled the week of September 25th. Please communicate this with your office staff so they are not caught off guard when volunteers arrive. During the tour, please go over the following information. Please meet your volunteers in the office and go over the check-in process and make sure that they each get a key fob. Please remind volunteers that in order to track volunteer hours, volunteers need to check in and out in the office. Go over where the best place for volunteers to park is. Is it okay for them to park in front of the building, in the street, near the main office, the parking lot, etc. Each school is different, so please be specific. A brief tour of the building that includes where the volunteers pick up and drop off students and important places like restrooms will also be important for you to show them on their first day. Also, please show them where the packet storage location is and book bins. For book bins, you will need to make sure that you pull books and have placed them in bins for volunteers to choose from. Because volunteers only have about 30 minutes with the student, they do not have time to go to the library and look for a book. So it's very important that books are pre-selected in bins. However you choose to sort them is up to you, but please make sure they're in bins for the volunteers to have easy access. You will also need to show the volunteers where they can read with their student. Please make sure that you provide a quiet place for them to read. Coaching will begin the week of October 2nd. Please be available to monitor and answer questions that any of your volunteers may have. As the year goes on, communication is the most important part. Coaches are asked to contact their site coordinators if they are unable to come in on their assigned day or unable to continue volunteering. In addition, if you know a student's class is going to be on a field trip or has a special activity where the reading coaches will not be needed that day, please contact the reading coaches in advance. We do not want the volunteers to show up just to find out that their student isn't there to read with. Have students ready to go when their coaches arrive to make the most of their time together. Make sure the coach knows where the student goes next. If a student is absent, please have another student for the coach to read with. Please contact United Way if a volunteer stops coming or if you need additional volunteers. Also, please abstain from requesting financial support from coaches or their employees. The last week of Read to Succeed will be the week of May 6th. At the end of the year, United Way only needs back the zippered pouches so that we can reuse them in future years. All of the contents from the packet can either go home with the student or be recycled. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. We wish you luck and success this upcoming school year and are here to support you however you need. If you know anyone that would like to volunteer as the year goes on, please be our advocate and contact me at hcrump at unitedwayplains.org to begin the volunteer sign-up process.